Stay. Stay. Oh, he's so beautiful. <gasps> he's so beautiful. <gasps> Don't take. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing a little vlog today. Um, sorry if it looks super messy with all these pillows and blankets everywhere. I love, love sleeping on the couch and falling asleep with Dante and Muffin here because it always feels like a sleepover. I had like the fire going on and just like fell asleep to watching like the mummy last night. I wanted to show you guys my new toy room expansion. So all you collectors out there and anybody that actually just has a lot of stuff in general, you know that apart from collecting this stuff and acquiring it all. The next hard part is finding room to display all that stuff. So the way that I display all my toys and stuff um, is actually just black bookshelves. I chose black over white because I just like the clean, classy look of the black. I'm not a huge fan of the white, but in some cases I have seen some pictures of your guys' collections and I'm like, wow, the white actually looks fantastic, but it also really depends on what you have. And I always get yelled at for not having, you know, cases, like closed glass cases. Well, that's because whenever I'm filming, I usually film in front of all my toys and whatnot and I absolutely hate glare. I hate, it's just a pet peeve of seeing like, you know, my uh, lights there in the back and also my camera in the reflection. And if I wanted to get, you know, some like non-reflective glass cabinets, it's gonna be pretty expensive. So that's why I opt out just getting like the cheap Walmart $49 bookcases, I believe. I believe they're $49. So altogether, I'm just gonna have four extra bookshelves in my spare room. So um, in my house, that was gonna be a workout room, but let's be honest, I don't work out. I have like a piece of work and equipment um, and I should probably sell it because I never use it. So I'm just lying to myself. And that actually just turned into like a spare bedroom slash my migraine panic room. Um, and like my sick room because in my normal uh, bedroom, like the blinds are not really outfitted for total darkness and stuff. In that spare room, I have like very specific blinds that just like black out the entire room. And also it's on a side of the house where it's not next to kind of like neighbors that are kind of a little bit noisy. Um, so let us go upstairs. I will put together the bookcases and then I will pick and choose things to add to my bookshelves. Yes, he loves watching Dr. Phil. Dante loves watching Dr. Phil. He loves Judge Judy and he loves Pitbulls and Prolies, but he already watched Pitbulls and Prolies this morning. So he is gonna watch, ooh, a hot bench is on. Um, no, he's gonna watch Dr. Phil. Oh yes, there you go. Oh, he loves Dr. Phil. He loves Dr. Phil. I just love turning on um, shows for Dante when I'm busy because it just keeps him like occupied. It makes him feel like there's somebody else in the house. So this is my migraine room and you can see it has like really good blackout blinds in there that close the entire um, window. So it's like pitch black in here. Um, and I already have two shelves up, have already added a few toys. I have some of my muscle figures and I have some amazing, amazing gifts from some subscribers. So I wanted to put a whole bunch of toys and models and stuff on these shelves um, for things that are sorely lacking the attention they deserve. I absolutely hate when things are like put to the side, they're obstructed, you know, everything in there deserves to have like being front and center, you know. So I have four bookcases all together, just finished putting them up. It's ironic because these bookshelves are in my migraine panic room and I feel a migraine coming on right now. So I gotta quickly put some toys, um, transfer them from my main toy room to here so then I can start using this place as a secondary filming room. Okay, so I am essentially done. Um, everything in my toy room has like a place already. Um, so this was just some of the excess and it's, um, everything is so tightly packed in my toy room and everything's like kind of perfectly placed. So it is kind of hard to take some of the excess things out of there. Um, but I have taken some of the things that I've got recently from like my PO box opening. Um, also my trip to the toy show recently Recently. So I do have some things filled on the shelves and let me tell you putting things on shelves is not as easy as you think There is kind of like an art to it and I really like to layer so I like to have the back completely full I like to have medium things and small things at the front This is my idea of a perfect perfect shelf like this was just to quickly stick things on the shelf shelf so I haven't really kind of layered it and done my little art there so um, even like my Dino Riders shelf here with my T-Rex and stuff like that shelf is nowhere near finished So I just quickly put some things on the shelves and on the top here You guys know I'm a huge fan of having like all level shelving and to really maximize that top shelf for kind of like larger bulkier bulkier things So I have my um, Jurassic World items some extra ones that I had I had some helmets some plushies and my amazing amazing Machiko Noguchi picture that I absolutely love So I wanted to have this like front and center so actually right when you enter 
enter my room right when you enter it, it's the first thing you see right away. So I absolutely love that picture. So I hope you all enjoyed this little vlog of me expanding my toy room. I'm super thankful to have this space that I can actually add bookshelves in and kind of expand it because I really, really hate, you know, not being able to display things properly or, you know, having the space that they deserve to be seen and not like cramped and on top of each other. So I'm super thankful to have this space. So in the comments down below, please let me know what is your current situation with your toy collections. You know, do you actually have a space dedicated for your toy collections, your collectibles, etc.? You know, do you have a little shelf here and there? Are you one of those people that all they can do is, you know, afford some space in the bathroom to kind of put some Funkos on there and stuff? So let me know what your current situation is with your toy collections in the comments down below. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay legendary. Bye-bye.